I got us in Corsa, and I got us in manual, okay? So I'm gonna put it in first gear, I'm gonna floor the car with my brake on, it's gonna go into a two-step situation, and I'm gonna launch it. Welcome to Post Rally Testing. I'm your boy Country. I'm your man Zach, and today we have for you the 2021 Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster. And we get to put it to the test. And we do. We got it here. <laughs> what do you think about this color, man? It's a, a car like this is already a statement in and of itself, and then you pull up in a color like this. I'm not a flashy color guy, but this is so sexy. What do you think? If Lambo wanted to put this as a the iconic symbol, I will hands down put this as one of the cars. Yeah, man. as it's like one of the like cars, one of like the cars, that, but like the that color, classic Ferrari red. This the, would be the your color, classic man. Lamborghini I told you, green. man, lime green, man. Yeah. What, what doesn't hit with lime green? Yeah. So with this that color, the sun. This color is actually called Verde Themis by Lamborghini. It is absolutely beautiful. And when the sun hits it just right, I don't know if you could see it, you have that little metallic finish to it. It has a little bit of sparkle, adds a little bit more life to the paint job, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks absolutely lime green. That's especially exactly in the Florida sun. Exactly. Yeah. Now come on over, let's check out these wheels. You already know. We do got some staggered you already wheels know. here. Those giant, giant brake calibers. With this is like the Karate Kid. You remember when Danielson was the last time and he like gave a kick in his face my, and like he won the match my right there. That's the wheel right there. That's the wheel that just won the tournament. You just dated yourself because my Karate Kid had Jackie Chan, so I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay. Well, the original Karate Kid. Well, let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> so you have those giant green brake calibers with the SVJ uh, decals on it. It looks beautiful. It matches the exterior. Um, sometimes it's a little bit too much, especially with a color that pops like this when you match the calibers to the exterior. But I like it. I think it works well, especially when you have the black mirrors and the black rims. I know you're happy about that. This now, something about this Lamborghini also has Lamborghini's ALA system. That is the Aerodynamica Lamborghini Ativa system. We are going to hear a little bit more about that and how special that system is from a special guest very, very soon. Now, as we come back to the rear of the vehicle, tell me what SVJ stands for. You already know. So very jealous. <laughs> honestly, That's when you got that walk when you get that car. Honestly, it probably should stand for that, but it actually stands for Super Veloce Jota. Now, for any of you out there who speak Italian, I apologize in advance already for butchering that enunciation. However, what that stands for essentially is super fast in English. Now, we do have this fixed yes. wing, carbon fiber wing. Yes. And it is part of the very, very, very intricate and detailed ALA system. We will hear more about that in a second. Look at the back. Look just how aggressive it looks and how, like, look at these. Look at these fins down here. Listen, man, this car you know, has everything. Typical features that you wouldn't get on something like a Huracan, you know, or, or a lower end type of Lamborghini. This car spares no expense. This is but a work of art right here. We would be absolutely remiss if we did not talk about this amazing, amazing exhaust system. Now, I would love to educate you on it, but there is nobody better on planet Earth to educate you on it than the man who installed yes. it himself. The legend. Master Matt. How you guys doing? What's up, What's man? going on, How man? How you doing, How dude? You been? Look at you guys not you matching been? today, man. <laughs> no, 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 I know, man. I know. We got, yeah, we didn't talk to each other this We morning. got We got it yeah. together. But uh, Matt, um, you know, super, super, very special Lamborghini that we have here. Um, you are actually the master technician on this car. You've done yep. a lot of work on it, including the exhaust. Can you tell us a little bit about it and why it's so special? Um, well, it's, it's an IPE exhaust. It's an Innotech performance exhaust. It's, um, it's it, the funny story about this exhaust, the reason the owner actually got it, um, usually this, these exhausts takes like six, seven, eight months to get sometimes, wow. especially with supply chain issues people have been having lately. Mm. The original destination for this exhaust was on a car that is now on the bottom of the ocean, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, the owner got really lucky. The, literally the day he got the car, he made some calls trying to find an exhaust or whatnot, and uh, we came through for him. We called some people we knew, 
And he's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be getting mine. Do you wanna buy mine? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And yeah. so why why is this exhaust, why is it so hard to get? What? Why do people need their hands on it? Um, just the build quality on it. It's uh, it's also um, gold plated titanium yeah. on it. It's, it. It looks gorgeous. You can actually see through it. it it's not gold anymore because it's been heated, mm -hmm. but you can see it's changed purples, the blues, the, yeah. depending on how hot it gets, is depending on what color it actually goes to. So when you get closer to the center, it's more purple, mm -hmm. more on the outside, yeah. it gets more green. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, when you heat, when you t first turn the car up and then on, and then you let it heat up for like about 10 minutes and it stays that color, yeah, that it'll beautiful stay the, blue. Yeah, it'll stay this color now. It's really, the first time when we put when it was brand new, it was gold. Right. Once you got the every single exhaust that you put in it to be titanium like right. this will be unique to the car once everything heats up and you start driving the car a lot. And like this is actually, it's not just a muffler system either. This has actually got a cat delete system on it because the car spends most of its time off the road. Uh -huh. So it's got it's it screams. So fully open, wide open V12, just this car shoots flames, this car shoot it makes all the all the right noises. <laughs> you guys talking about the ala system yeah too, a little please bit. please yeah, yeah. um it's actually lamborghini's aerodynamics you already talked about the yeah. lamborghini uh, aerodynamic lamborghini ativa yeah and um how the since we're at the back of the car the way it actually works is this big little inlet here mm -hmm. actually feeds air in goes up into the spoiler and if you look underneath there's actually these slots here ah. so what it can do is normally driving the car the way the wind goes over across here right. pushes the car down right but if you want to do really high speed stuff and you don't need the downforce it actually stalls the wing. It actually blows air underneath it, so it's like an airplane wing, the opposite. It creates lift, so it actually even itself out. And can they operate independently? Like yes, they can do left to right. <laughs> they can do left to right, they have like for cornering, you want to yeah. load one side of the car, you're, yeah. taking a, you're taking a hard left turn, you want to load that right side of the car and get that, the 355 millimeter tires right. to the ground, yeah. That's unbelievable. So it's got that aerodynamic system, mm -hmm. and I believe this vehicle has rear steering as well. For yes, better turn it radius. does. Yeah, for be well, better, not just better turning radius, but better performance on track yeah, as well. Yeah, It can get that rear toe around and actually help the car rotate because it is such a big car. Right, yeah. right. Wow. This car actually held the Nürburgring record for a while. It actually beat out Porsche for uh, yeah. the, the coupe version of it, but it, it beat out Porsche for a good year or so. This was the fastest car, production car around the Nürburgring. Yeah, I, I, the Lamborghini, like they made it purposely, they made the Aventador, right? Like purposely to beat the Nürburgring record, right? And they did for yeah, a while. Yeah, they, they right? did for a good year. And yeah. Porsche had to do a, like an in-house custom build just to, just to be able to beat it, take yeah. the, take the, Crown back, basically. So then they, so then they, uh, they, they, they got what they wanted. So then they said, "All right, let's take the roof off and call it a roadster." <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it. call it a roadster. The, yeah, the one you, the roof, you got to remove yourself. And it, <laughs> yeah. it actually, actually, all that stashes into the trunk in the front. Yeah, it has a little space you can slide. Yeah, so you yeah. can actually take it with you. you. Don't get stuck in the rain. Yeah, Matt, as always, thank you so much, man. All right, Craig. Yeah, so excited to be here with you today. Tell me, tell me right now. First of all, the sound sounds amazing. Yeah. Now I understand clearly what Matt was explaining about why you do all these little things. I mean, I'm a car guy through and through. I mean, my favorite car is a Lambo, of course. So yeah. this is the SVJ. I've had a normal Aventador, a couple of them, but this one's over the top. I mean, between the paint, the, the look of it, the wing in the back, um, it's just amazing. So, yeah. Two Love people in the world that got this is you and Bruce Wayne. Does well, Bruce course. Wayne call you up? Yeah, he calls <laughs> me every now and then. Yeah. Is he upset that yeah. you have his car? Yeah. <laughs> he's upset about my uh, my exhaust. He's, he's really upset I have that. So, yeah. So, what's one of the amazing features about a Lamborghini? What you love? Is it their body style? What is it? I mean, for me, it's got to be an Aventador. It's the body, it's the V12. I mean, yeah. listen to the engine. I uh -huh. mean, you can't get that with a V8 or a yeah. turbo. So yeah, I mean a V12 uh -huh. is just, just the best for me. Normally a car like this, you have to take off the wing. Yeah, my other car, I used to take my wing off because um, over 200, it was it, it started flapping. But this, uh, you know, SVJ wing is is uh, it's pretty solid. I don't see it moving. Man. Uh, the only thing I do now when I go fast with this car is I bring my mirrors in because I did have them snap in once. Wow. So I, you know, I I bring those in, but that's it. I did get a warning on this car this time, around 215 miles an hour that my, I said a T-top was loose. Wow. So I was like, holy crap. I'm about to lose a T-top. This, this thing's raw. I like cars very raw. You know, this one doesn't have mats in it. It's all carbon fiber. 
You know, there's not a lot of packing in it. Yeah. There's no latches in the back. I just like yeah. the, and I like the way it rides hard. Yeah. Um, it just, I just love this car. I love the Alcantara up on yep. the top, especially yep. if the connection with the stand wheel yep. is really, is, is yep. really just stands out. Just is so different. Yeah. All right, country. So, so we have the draggy in here. So we're going to go a mile because the speedometers are typically off in this car. Yeah. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use launch mode. All right. So we're going to put it in first gear. I got it off. I got, so I got my traction controls off. I got us in Corsa and I got us in manual. Okay. So I'm going to put it in first gear. I'm going to floor the car with my brake on. It's going to go into a two-step situation and I'm going to launch it. I got one responsibility. I Hang just hear the express record. I'm set. <laughs> and just the sound, it's like it yeah. gets intense in the back. <laughs> To test this vehicle, to, to, to get the true specs on this, it really goes to accountability why people purchase these vehicles. Yeah. Well, this was fun. Good job. No, you did a good job. <laughs> All I did was here was sit here for the ride. <laughs> now, wasn't that a treat? Absolutely. How you feeling? Oh, I had a great time. Yeah. Hey, Craig is a man of his word. Post rally member actually lived up to his responsibility, and he says we get enough likes. We get the subscriptions up. He says he will bring this out for the testing. Man, he lived up to that challenge and it was just an awesome treat to be in this vehicle yeah. once again. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And if you guys would like to see a more in-depth video of this vehicle, we'll go ahead and attach the link to it. Please go ahead and check it out. Now, please don't forget, this could be you. Yes. If you or someone you know has a vehicle that you would like tested and reviewed by yours truly, go ahead and hit us up at Pulse Rally Testing on Instagram. Make sure to like this video, subscribe so you don't miss a thing. But until then, we'll see you next time.